in the previous part of our tutorial on Microsoft Word we uh, discuss on just the introduction getting familiar with uh, the environment now in this app page we are going to discuss on the office button uh, first thing there is opening a new document if you want to create a new Microsoft Word document you click and it's asking your blank page your new blog post you can just click on the new blog post but you have the opportunity of uh, uh, you want to work on the calendar or any of those things uh, then but here we're talking about creating the document so you click on create and then the environment open now next to that is uh, okay to open a Microsoft Word document in any folder you click if there is no Microsoft Word there you won't see any document in that folder this is an example we have one there there are many let me even give you a better example in the, the graphic aspect we have a lot of document there that is a graphic work but it's not Microsoft Word we only have two Microsoft Word there. that's why you are seeing that so when you want to open it you have choice you click and open or you double click okay double click means clicking your left side mouse twice on stop and then you to open so let's close that then the other one is save uh, if you want to save your document uh, you know when you type it don't save the system does not recognize it now we have two types of save where we have save and we say have save us save us is to give it a title a file name could become the title of the document as we discussed earlier the title bar okay so could choose on a title bar no but you only need to click on uh, save us if it is an existing document you want to edit but you don't want to eradicate the existing one you want to edit and then give it another filing but if it's a new document even if you click on save it will, t it will, it will take you back to save us because that document is not recognized not registered it's not saved on the system yet so you'll be able to do what give it that filing then you now determine which folder which aspect of my system did i want to save is it on the desktop so that maybe it's a document you want to uh, be working on every now and then or in the download but the default is always going to be on the, the library document so here you click on save as okay let's go back so it's going to show you the document library directly but you have choice if you don't want to save there is no compulsory now it's also advisable that you create folder for group of activities so that all document will not just cut on your system you create a folder when you see all those yellow uh, uh button here means a folder so you create a folder for different activities which you can save in the every now and then so how do you create a folder you have choice this is 2007 version so just click on the, this new folder and then you'll be able to create a folder and then you give it a filing of your choice so anytime you want to save you just look at the uh, folder where you create it and but if you decide uh, 2000 and uh, uh, I mean window uh, SP so when 7 you need to right click and say new and folder which you can do the same thing here and then you click on it and then click and give it a file I mean a folder name so by the time you do that then you can now okay save your document in there let me take that again save and then maybe I want to save it uh, directly into the document uh, library I'll just but before you save remember the title what title what file name did you want to give it so when you need it next time you'll be able to recognize it easily now you'll be able to find it easily now it is advisable you could do the first word or the first sentence on the document which is always going to be the default anyway if you don't change it it's going to be the default so let's say for example i type microsoft word here so by the time i want to save that's what it going to or recognize as a file name but have sure i can change it for something else maybe my uh, folder my work let me call it that way so it's not compulsory so i'll decide here did i want to save it let's say on the desktop then here it does all about the compatibility mode some different versions different file uh types that you want to change it for easy to web page but if it is an ordinary document 
you uh, you can decide to change it maybe to like uh, the 2007, 1970, 2003. Quick means if you want to open that uh, document in another computer that have lower versions, it will open. But if you don't change that, it will not open. Okay, that's just uh, the head big there. So if you are done with the setter, just click on save and then the document will save. So if you need the document next time, where do you uh, find it? Because I save it on the desktop. Here it is. But I save it inside the document uh, folder. Then I have to like go inside a folder and then you know, I look for document and then I look for it here and I can still open the uh, folder that you save. So let's open the document so that we can further work on it. Now we talk about save. Apart from just giving it a file name, you still continue saving your document. For example, all this that I'm typing now is not saved. It's not a uh, it's not on the document yet until I click on office button save. That's a long process anyway. On the toolbar, maybe I've already added the save button there. I can easily click on save here. Okay, here it is. Save. Or better still, the fast way is using the keyboard which you call the shortcut. So as you can see there in bracket we have control plus S. Quick means on your keyboard when you look, you see that sign control and then you press it down until you press S. So you make that part of your typing skill so that when you type some words or at most a line, a paragraph, then you just press control S. Make that part of your typing skill. So it's very important. And then there are sometimes you make changes, you add or you subtract from the document and you forget to save and you want to close it. Uh, it will not close the system will tell you if you recognize it change to the document do you want to save it or not when you click on yes the document will save and close if you click on no it will close but it will save when you cancel that means you are not sure you are not sure you can cancel and check drive any make changes or not and then you now decide maybe i'm going to save it or not like i said if you click on for example let's click on no it will close but it will save the last changes we need to the document okay you see it then if we do what if we click on yes it will save it before it closes it mm -hmm. take note of that then what else we have there we also have how to print our document it is advisable you preview before you print now on the preview there are a lot of changes you need to uh, effect before you can just click on print although it's not compulsory maybe everything is perfect is okay the way but you still have to learn how to make all those things that is why we will not be able to discuss in detail the printing aspect of our document because we have changes we need to make which is on the pitch layout aspect of the microsoft Word. so we are going to discuss that then the printing will follow after finish discuss all aspect of the microsoft Word, which means of, of course if you want to print a document you need to do what first learn how to fight and how to format it to look better the way you want it then you can now print so we're going to learn all other features and come back to the printing aspect then we have the prepare there there are many things we can work on prepare but the one you remember the compatibility check what compatibility is it all to but what we're going to discuss most here the only thing some other things that have to do with working on internet is encrypting our document how do we encrypt this passwording so that when somebody wants to open the document one way or another you need a password without the password you won't be able to open it. so put the password of the shows choose alpha numeric and sign make it a bit stronger don't look at what i did just for it's too small then you press enter or ok press enter on your keyboard you click ok you re-enter the same password for confirmation then in this case now if i save the document anytime i want to open it i need a password or else i won't be able to open it so take note of that and that is uh on uh the password then you can send to email or to fax you can also you can also uh publish to your blog directly or to server then you can close then we also have in here the recent document so you are going to be having listed here recent document you open on your microsoft word then you also have uh, the option of uh, uh, the word option which you can make some changes to the display to the proving although this is not compulsory i have to be realistic with you but if you guys need for example if i want to print the background image but make sure you read and understand before you check 
okay and just check anyhow so you take note of that so if i want to print background color and image i have to check context so then what does we have here you can exist your microsoft word from here so you take note of that apart from that what else we have we don't have any other thing on the office button of the microsoft work put from here we can uh, move to the next aspect of our tutorial which is the home menu so the home menu is the next thing we're going to discuss in this aspect of our tutorial working with uh, microsoft word 2007 or any other later version which look the same way like uh, the 2007 so if you have any question uh, you can send to our email you see uh, yeah, as part of this uh, tutorial uh, just email us uh, you call on us so um, thank you